Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the Florida Atlantic Owls and the Illinois Fighting Illini. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I think it's a major mismatch. You're talking about David versus Goliath. I mean, they got to go out and play with no fear. They can't be worried. The Fighting Illini are the highly favored team in this one, Dick. Still, what are the keys for the game? Well, the keys should be simple tonight, Brad. First, play it your style. Don't get roped into doing things that you normally don't do. You must be in control. Next, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. Lastly, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He nails the shot. How about a replay, boys? <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Here's a flash from the post up high. Looking for the foul. Or two. In and out. The point guard gets the pass. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. The center with the ball. Can't get the shot to go. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. He goes to the line. He got it. And he got them both. Oh, hard screen set on the defender. Assembly Hall is about to explode. It is mayhem in here. Looks at a three. Got it. That's incredible. <laughs> the frustration right there. That's picked off. Hey, kids got great defensive court sense. But inside. Finney is emotionally pumped up. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. it in the fake it'll take some pride on the defensive end here's the toss back out from the post I tell you coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer we're gonna move it around the perimeter goes up for two it'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there that young man is doing it all for his team right now he's obviously carrying his team Brad his teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Trying to go inside. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Fast break opportunity here. And up, perfectly executed. Had a momentary look from three-point land. There's the screen up on top.
Keeps the dribble as they regroup. From right of the circle, goes in. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Trying to feed inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Gave it up. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. He hits the shot. Let's go to the instant replay camera. not happy on the sideline. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Sinks the shot. They look to get it to the inside. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. The power forward takes the feed. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Dick are doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They work it around the perimeter. Leans in. Buried it. The power forward gets the ball. Here's a double team. Gets it to go. The Owls have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. The point guard takes the pass. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Let's see if they can get a two on this end. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory, like a sixth man. From right at the circle, tickles a twine. They scored seven in a row. Now the high screen. Stolen away. For two, they are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. <laughs> on the outside. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. 
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respects that were saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Trying to draw some contact, and he scores despite the hack. for something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Now they work it around the perimeter. Turns it over. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Kicks it out. He's got an open look for the shot. Goes up for two. Florida Atlantic are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. On the dribble, gives it up. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebounding position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Nice fake. Here's the toss back out from the post with the block. Got a nice screen. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. He fouled him. Oh, he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. There's the trap. There are many teams that will claim that their home court is the toughest place to play. But in all honesty, Illinois might be the toughest. Hey, their home record speaks volumes, Brad. That's one thing that they don't get much recognition for. Ten on the shot clock. There's the pick. There's the roll. Moving it around the perimeter. It's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. The kick out. He attempts the three. Scorches the net. Both teams are looking to get something going here. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Looking to move it around the perimeter. Number three is receiving lots of love from the crowd. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. They work the perimeter. Tries for two. Up, easy one. Assembly Hall is about to explode. It is mayhem in here. Let's 
Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He shoots from right of the circle. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? The crowd is enjoying this close one. The fans are just waiting for the favorites to pull away. But will it happen here tonight? Thanks, Aaron. On the dribble, gives it up. Cross court. Look at that spacing. There's a double team waiting there. With anticipation defensively. Long lead pass. Newton pounded on his way up. at the charity strike. Good. I think they're trying to make a statement. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. You get balled like I am. Got a man in high post. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Florida Atlantic are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Accepts it. On the outside. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Picked off. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense and they do a nice job. Working around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. It's good. That's an 8-0 run. Picks off the pass. For two. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. back into action here. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. You see, that's what happens when you go for the steal. You end up with unnecessary personal fouls. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. He shoots from left of the circle. Great job of running the defender into the screen for a nice J. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see more oh, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Now they work it around the perimeter. 
Way out on top, controlling the ball. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Obvious foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Takes the pass in the paint. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. It's stolen. Working it around the perimeter. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Controlling the ball. I say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. <laughs> He'll go to the line. First shot, good. Those can. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Sometimes timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. I think a defensive stop on this possession, Dick, will have this crowd just roaring. Steals a pass. You better plug your ears if they get a basket on this possession. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. There are many teams that will claim that their home court is the toughest place to play, but in all honesty, Illinois might be the toughest. Hey, their home record speaks volumes, Brad. That's one thing that they don't get much recognition for. Makes the second shot. Great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Number 42 fakes the shot with the fake. With the jump hook, Illinois is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Jumped in front to take it away. Fake. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Can't get the shot to drop. They work it around the perimeter. From the top of the key, he makes the shot. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. They're off into transition. Intercepted. They 
Here they come with a double team to stop it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. That's good. How about an instant replay? Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Assembly Hall is about to explode. It is mayhem in here. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Shot clock is dead. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. They run it up into transition. He dials long distance. They're making a living right now at the three-point line. Let's see if they can keep this up for the remainder of the game. To the live action we go. Good fake. At the half, the Fighting Illini are up by 12. It's been a tight one thus far, Mr. Vitell. What play do you think set the tone here tonight? My highlight of the first half has to be this trifecta, Brad. It showed another one of the deadly weapons that this team has offensively. I expect more of that in the second half. Second half about to get underway. Let's go down to the action. Illinois filled up the scoring column with three balls, Dick, in that first half. That's right, partner, and no one really stepped out to contest him. And I'll tell you, they made them pay. They knocked them down all half long. We always love it when underdogs play well. They didn't in the first half, Dick, and they're going to have to pull out a miracle here in the second half. I think always special when you see the David and the Lions. And you know that a lot of people out there always want to root for David. I think it's important when you're David right now to come out and protect that basketball and get a good start in the first four minutes of half. This defender is resilient, still applying pressure. For the bucket. And in and out. Tries for two. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. He pump fakes. Here's a double team and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Takes away the pass. Great anticipation. That's great court savvy to get in the way of that pass. He unloads. Way off target. There he is, strips the ball loose. Nothing gonna come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking for a good shot. Picks off the lazy pass. That's basic. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. 
You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Misses the second shot. He grabs the board. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Goes in. Can their defense get him back in the game, Dick? I tell you, it's going to be a long hike back, Brad. Fakes it. He does the sweet fake shot. He's got a nice shot fake. The ball goes out of play. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose the air. And you get balled like, oh, yeah. He tries the three. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. They strip him in a basketball, got a little too fancy, too much mustard there, baby. What a great strip. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Just their excitement with that jam. Oh, what a strip, Rad. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Picked out of the air. Looking for a good shot. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He shoots from the low post. Dick, what can they do to stop their scoring barrage? I don't know, Brad. Dim the lights, maybe? I don't know. They're on fire right now. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He intercepts it. They work the perimeter. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the win. Double team now, bad angle. Picked off. Gave it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. the perimeter. Spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. Check it out, Mr. Vitale. This young man is fired up. Look, he wants the crowd to show some love. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. He goes to the free throw line. He can't get one to fall. For two, basket falls despite the contact. Up 
Cut inside. He goes for three. Gets it to fall. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Sets a screen for his teammate. From left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Steals a pass. Easy two coming here. Goes up for two. Got it. They'll work it around the arc. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any open. Pressure in the basketball. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Makes the first. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting team seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Second one, no good. Makes it. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. If you get the steal, you're a hero. But you always run the risk of committing a foul when you go for that steal. He's got a high post flasher. From the top of the key. Off the mark. Coming inside. For the bucket. And he missed. He puts it in with contact and all. The Owls are behind by 19. And a momentary look from three-point land. Three, way off target. Now they work it around the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. There's a double team waiting there. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, during halftime, the coaching staff told me a sign of a good team is they play strong and play their style, despite who their opponent is. Guys? Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Assembly Hall is about to explode. It is mayhem in here. Yeah, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The Owls have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. It's stolen. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. On the outside. Working it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. 
Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Here's a double team. For two, perfectly executed. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brown, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. It's two at the charity strike. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Nice high post screen. He shoots from the elbow. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. They work it around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. We have definitely got a blowout here, Dick. I must say, I'm a little surprised at how this one's turning out. I definitely didn't expect this. Look at that spacing. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He drains the bucket. Takes it away. And a momentary look from three-point land. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. He is going to the line. Gets his first. Out of both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. The Owls are trailing by 18. He tries to knock down the three. Makes it. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Off the rim and no good. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Got them on nylon, NBN. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The power forward with the ball. There they come with a double team to stop it. They move it up in a hurry. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's a 7-0 run. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. For the bucket, in and out. 
Hey, Brad, this youngster is showing how to put the clamp on a player defensively. Spectacular defensive effort. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. From way outside. Rims out. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Puts it up. It's no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. They'll work it around the arc from right in the circle. He takes another bad shot. Bad shots killed chemistry, Brad. And he'll kick it back outside. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. I think she's right about that, Richie. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you've got a great post play, you got a chance really to win. Launches the three, gets it to go. Jumped in front to take it away. Gave it up. Set that screen away. And the ball goes out of play. Here's a flash from the high post. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for contact. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Tries for two, perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. Picks off the pass. Assembly Hall is about to explode. It is mayhem in here. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Up and inside. Top of the circle, they work. He makes the block. There's a double team waiting there. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. They work it around the perimeter. The high screen. Takes away the pass. like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Yeah. 
wants him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Oh, I love this guy. I love him. Working it around the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Shoots from outside. That's good. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Great play to take that to the basket. The hole is good. Ballistic. This might be Corbindale, Illinois, at its finest, baby. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. Newton drains the tray. Shot clock is dead. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. High post screen. So effective that screen. Well, Dick, this is unbelievable. I didn't expect this. I think they should have won, and they couldn't find a way to get anything done to them. Well, they're impressive because they understand one another, and they love playing together. They are so unselfish. I think their commitment to winning is what it's all about. Win, win, and win. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Illinois showed vast superiority tonight in this blowout. Well, they came into favorites, and they did not disappoint. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.